welcome back. Welcome back. It's good to see you guys here. Um, so we are back here playing Prodigy English, and I just answered a bunch of questions because I want to keep on experimenting around with getting the trees to grow back. So I'm looking to uh, do something different today, and I answered some questions, so I completed a daily goal. Let's go ahead and check and see what our daily goals are before we begin uh, moving around. It's been about a week since I've played, maybe a couple days more. And so I'm excited to see uh, what the map looks like as I move around. So for today's goals, we have collect hardwood, 15 uh, pieces of hardwood, chop any trees uh, six times, six trees. We need to collect 30 stones and we need to break 10 rocks. So we earned our energy, um, which is going to give us 10 wish stars, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and claim this and we're going to do a uh, basic wish as we get started to go ahead and get our daily wish today. So we're just going to go for a good wish here to continue to uh, get these uh, wish coins up. All right, let's see what happens. What are we going to get? And it is 30 extra search for new foraging materials throughout the village. So we got 30 extra foraging materials added. Yes. All right. So we're going to go ahead and um, start with our daily uh, missions, but we're also going to try to collect more things off of the ground in order to see if that clears up more room for trees. Because uh, figuring out this tree situation, I think, is going to be sort of essential for us to keep up our production so we can play every single day. And Quinn says, hello there. I'm looking for some materials for a project I'm working on. Can you look for these items? Quinn needs six hardwood. Oh man, it breaks my heart when they need hardwood, but here you go. I'll go ahead and share with you. And there you are, because hardwood is definitely what we need. Quinn says, wow, thanks, here's your reward. All right, 1,200 gold. So let's come on around and collect the resources that we can get. So what I'm gonna be doing today is just trying to get as many resources up off of the ground um, so that we can go ahead and uh, get as much room uh, taken care of. And I am gonna go ahead and try to uh, clear cut my trees as well to see if we can speed up these uh, plants growing. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to target that one yet. So, some of my students have, have said that uh, it really only takes about a couple days for the trees to grow back, and that hasn't been my experience, but I want to see. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick everything that I see today. Oh, I did find out something cool, too. The uh, bottom of flowers is considered a weed, so which is pretty neat. So, um... That uh, makes it a lot easier to pick weeds if that is one of your objectives and you're looking at like 75 weeds that you have to collect. So that's pretty, pretty helpful. All right. And so we're just making our way around, collecting as much as we can, getting it off of the ground to see if we can get our production up a little bit faster. All right. And so far, I haven't seen a daily objective of flowers, so I think we can probably pick all of the flowers. Um, I don't know if uh, I've heard of anybody really getting an objective where you have to collect the flowers either. So I think the flowers are safe for us to go ahead and pick up and collect. Okay. So here we go. We've got another hardwood tree over here, another oak tree. I'm really excited to get the level two ax so that we can go ahead and start uh, getting some uh, softwood. Looks like our oak trees are all the way up though, so that's good. I'll dig you up right now. And look, there's a rock right up here. So let's go ahead and break this rock. I hope you guys are having as much fun with Prodigy English as I am, and I uh, can't wait for it to be open enrollment, or for the open, for the game to be live, for early access to end. Um, it's such a cool game that uh, it'll be really exciting for everyone to get access to it. All right. Hope there's a way that we can visit other people, other people's lands too. I would love to see that in here. Ooh, there's an acorn. I'll pick that up just in case uh, 
anybody needs that. And it looks like we just got a an objective. Don't know if it's a daily goal or a lifetime goal. Looks like our daily goal for chopping any trees. Okay, wonderful. So here we go with an acorn. And we have some stones up here. All right. So yeah, I hope you guys are still having a great time with this game and enjoying it and uh, finding some time to play with it and build your own world in your class and at home as well. All right. And so I'm going to try to just keep on working through here, getting as many resources as I can, uh, just so I can go ahead and figure out how this is working. Oh, but I do need some more energy, so let's go to the questions. Select the complete sentence. Now remember, a complete sentence needs to have a subject and a verb um, or an implied subject. Um, and uh, so let's make sure that there is a subject in these. So Duke ate a dog treat. That is a complete idea. Ate a dog treat doesn't say who ate a dog treat. So Duke would be our complete sentence. Let's check our answer. All right. And the complete sentence, fall starts on Friday, fall starts. So fall starts on Friday tells me when fall starts and we need to have that information for it to be a complete sentence. All right. The complete set, the dishes. The dishes is a great subject. It's also a thing, which would make it a noun. The dishes are clean gives me all of the information I need to understand what you are saying about the dishes. So we are selecting B. Okay. It is very, is very messy. Is not a complete sentence because we need to know what is very messy. The desk is messy is a complete sentence. All of the ideas are there. And uh, all of these have been starting with a capital and a period at the end. So um, they have all had that information. All right, here we go. I play basketball at the gym. Play basketball. Actually, play basketball does not have a period. So that would not be a sentence. I play basketball at the gym has all of the information we need. All right, let's do one more. Mice, seeds, berries, and nuts. Uh, mice eat seeds gives us the information. Mice, seeds, berries, and nuts uh, it is a poorly constructed list, it looks like. All right. Let's check that answer. Let's go back to our game. We have our energy up and ready to go. All right, there goes the tree. And I am just going to go ahead and continue to cut. Trying to just clear the land completely and see if that helps our trees grow back. So what I really want to do is I want to get it to a position, get my land into a position where all of the trees are growing back quickly so that I have enough resources. And so maybe what's happening is I'm not collecting enough resources as I go around. Now we just have, we just hit another goal. So I'm going to go ahead and check that goal and uh, see what we have. Collect hardwood. All right. So we have 15 hardwood. Uh, let's go ahead and claim that. So we're up to 154 wish coins and there's a lot of hardwood here. So we might actually end up with enough hardwood, even though we gave some away to go ahead and uh, do an upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at our resources here. And so this is hardwood here. And so we have 26 hardwood, which is awesome. So with these trees, we might be close. I think we need 45 hardwood um, in order to upgrade our ax. So let's go ahead and see if we are lucky. And then we need softwood, I believe, to um, get the uh, um, uh, up, uh, upgrade that place where people come. Um, so select the complete sentence. Dad washed the car, washed the car with soap. Dad, we need to have that subject. Dad washed the car. All right, next question. I what? Fill in the blank to make a complete sentence. I a fish? No, if you wanted to say that you were a fish, you need to say I am a fish. So this is missing the verb. I saw a fish. That's what happened. So let's check our answer. Awesome. Next question. Um, so we're making a complete sentence. At school, make sounds. 
the toys make sounds is a complete sentence. At school, children make sounds would be a complete sentence, but we don't have that subject there. All right, let's do two more. The dog chases the cat, the dog, the cat. So the dog chases the cat has the verb. The dog, the cat would be missing a verb for it to make sense. All right, one more. Cows and horses would be a great subject. There are no verbs there or things that they're doing. Cows like to eat grass. So like is the subject. All right, let's get back to the game and back to some chopping. So yeah, that would be fantastic if we were able to upgrade the uh, axe. I wasn't even planning on it in this video, but it looks like we might have enough trees to uh, go ahead and change our focus. And then we might have to do our clear-cutting experiments another day, depending. But it's great to see all of these trees. All right. So let's come on up here. We'll chop this down. So many oak trees. All right. Okay, let's look for here's another oak tree. Cool, cool, cool. And that looks like an oak tree as well, so that is wonderful. All right, that's going to be all of our energy. I'm going to check our hardwood just to see. We have 33 hardwood. I think we're going to need another uh, 12 more. So let's see if we can find enough. So we are going to be sweating. Oh, so tired. So let's go ahead and ask, answer a few more questions. Collects colorful shells. So this is going to be completing the sentence and we're going to have to think about subject verb agreement. So because this is collects, we're going to be looking for a singular uh, subject. Helen collects colorful shells. Kyla and Vinny, we would have to say collect colorful shells. So let's check this answer. Awesome. Next question. Who jumped in the leaves? We ran into jumped into the leaves. Would not be a complete sentence. Greta jumped into the leaves. Would be a complete sentence. We, are they going? We painted the old house. So if, they said, if this said where, that where are they going would make sense. But we does not. B is the correct answer. Let's check it. Awesome. Next question. Which choice has the correct capital letters? Uncle Mike, Uncle Mike. So Uncle Mike is the name that I call my uncle. So every time I say it, I will say Uncle Mike. So this should be the correct answer for the, how I say Uncle Mike. All right, next question. Which sentence has the name capitalized correctly? This is the beginning of a sentence, so that is not correct. The, only the first letter is correct is capitalized for Liam, so B is correct, and you don't capitalize the whole name. Uh, so B is correct, correctly capitalized. All right, two more. Which sentence has the name capitalized correctly? Where is Nadia's brother? So the cap, the, this isn't uh, capitalized here. The first letter isn't capitalized here. This is all capitalized, which is not correct. C has the correct capitalization for the first word and also for Nadia. All right, let's do one more. Which sentence has all of the names capitalized correctly? Roxy sees Mark's mark outside. That is correct. So Roxy needs to be capitalized in this one and also that one. These two appear to be exactly the same to me. So, okay, let's go ahead and select A. All right, let's go back to the game and let's get shopping. Wow, this would be so exciting if we were able to get that pickaxe. Oh, and there's some more trees up here. Awesome. So exciting. So excited. Oh, two more. You can tell by the trunks, by the bottom of the trunks, that after this one, there's going to be two more up here. So after I cut down these two, let's go ahead and check our hardwood, shall we? Whoa, there's another one up there, too. This one here, that's going to be a uh, pine tree, so but this one is going to be an oak tree. So cool. Okay, we have an objective here, so let's go ahead and click on this for a lifetime. And handy dandy, no, it's down here. It's this one. Let's scroll down. 
There we go. Can you dig it? Dig 100 stump steps or stamens. Stumps or stamens. All right, so that's level one. We got four wish coins. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's a daily coal completed. Let's go ahead and check and see how much hardwood we have. We have 36 hardwood here. So uh, let's keep on chopping and see if we can do this. I hope we can. And we might have enough energy for this last tree over here before we hunt around and see if we can find any more. Looks like we did. We're going to have to answer a few more questions before we chop. Oh, that's a pine tree. All right, let's see if... Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Why did I go over there? Come back, come back, come back. All right. Before we come over to this tree, I think we might have to answer a question before finishing chopping it down. So let's go ahead and answer four or five, and we'll uh, get to a few more trees. Which sentence has all of the names capitalized correctly? So Lena is correct. Josie is not. Josie needs to have a capital J as well. Both of these are lowercase, so that's not that's not correct. Lena asks Josie to play. That is going to be correct. So let's go ahead and check our answer. Awesome. Next question. Uh, Paulina is capitalized incorrectly. Uh, Paulina is making cupcakes. That is correct. We have to capitalize it. This is not. So B is the correct answer. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Brianna and Yuna. Yuna should be capitalized. So this one looks correct. Here, neither one of the names are capitalized. So B is going to be our correct answer. Let's next question this. James' birthday is in December. Um, so December needs to have a capital D. And so these other two are incorrect. A is the correct answer. All right. I have to, I get to have a sleepover on Saturday. So the S in Saturday is capitalized. The other letters are not. And let's check our answer. All right, we'll do one more. We have a big test on Thursday. Capitalize that Thursday. All right, back to the game. And let's finish chopping this tree down. Oh, please, please, please give us hardwood. Please give us hardwood. I think that's another uh, oak tree all the way on the left. So I'm having a good feeling. I'm having a good feeling. We should be close. I, I got to check. I've got to check. 42, only three more hardwood. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think we might just get this. Oh, I think we might get this. I might have to go ahead and clear cut for the next video or uh, finish picking up everything for the next video and see how that affects how stuff grows back. Oh, there's another tree over there. I'm pretty sure we're good. After this tree, I'll check and see if we can go and get our axe. I hope we can. I hope we can. I hope we can. That would be so exciting. All right, let's check. 45. Yes, 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 yes. Woohoo! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go straight to the city. Straight to the city. And then we'll be able to chop down some of those uh, pine trees as well. How cool. Oh, man. Next video might have to be a pine tree chopping uh, video. So level two. We have 48 wood. We needed 45. 95 stones. We needed 45. 45 hardwood. We have it. And we need 18 wish, coin, wish coins. We have 150. Are you ready to upgrade with me? So excited. And here we go. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I had no idea we were going to be walking into that. That is so cool. That is so cool. So it is all at the max level for right now. So awesome. So awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and X out of this and X out of this. And the reason that I'm so excited about getting this, uh, even though I really wasn't even planning on it, I thought it would be maybe the next video, is let's take a look up here. And this is the next thing that I really want to upgrade. And I want to upgrade this to level two, the market stall to level two. So we need hardwood, we need softwood, and we need iron. And so those are going to be three things that I really want to focus on getting three things that I really want to focus on um, uh, taking care of so that we can get this up to level three. And when we got it to level two, we had a one visitor. I'm thinking when we get to level three, 
we might get an extra visitor to give us a little bit of revenue, get a little coins, help them out getting stuff. Um, so super, super excited to be upgrading this and I'll be able to start doing that, start collecting softwood, start collecting hardwood, get that all taken care of. So um, please do join me for the next video. Next video, we are going to be working on getting, trying to get every single piece of everything picked up, put away um, so that it's just like a tabula rasa, completely clean slate so that we can see how fast our trees, our, our uh, sprouts grow and uh, see if that time is a little bit faster, okay? So excited that we were able to get to level two for our axe as well. Um, have a great day. Keep on prodigying on. I will see you guys back here very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.